you're having trouble booting up, maybe your system is getting stuck on the boot screen, go ahead and restart your system. You can do that by pressing and holding the power button on the computer itself, or if you can get this far, you can just click restart. Now while it's doing that, we're gonna hold Command Option PR on the keyboard. And what this is going to do is reset the NVRAM. And we'll, we'll keep pressing these keys until we hear the second chime. And then we'll release when we hear that. And then we'll try to reboot like normal. And another problem may be after resetting NVRAM, uh, you may need to reset your startup disk. So we'll go ahead and restart again. And this time during the restart, we'll hold down the option key. Then when we get to the startup manager, we'll use the left and right arrows to select which drive we wanna go with and we'll go with the Macintosh HD and then press enter. Now it's going to try to start up like normal and we should get to the login screen here next. Good deal. So everything there worked like normal. If that doesn't work for you, the next thing we can do is go ahead and try restarting. And again, you can do that as a hard reset or a soft reset where you have access to the actual button and a hard reset is where you have to physically press and hold the uh, power button until the computer shuts down. And then on this restart, we're gonna hold down the shift key and that's gonna boot us into safe mode. And release the shift key once you see the gray Apple logo appear. Booting into safe mode also does an automatic check to look into the operating system and make any automatic repairs that it finds if there's any issues there. And then obviously once we get to our login screen, we can log in like normal. Um, the next thing we can try to do is a disk utility to kind of check the status of our drive. And to do that, we'll restart and then hold down the Command R key. So now I'm pressing and holding Command R. And we'll keep pressing Command R until we get to the, the OS X recovery screen. Great, and now we're here at the OS X utility screen and we'll click on disk utility and click continue. And then we'll select our hard drive here, Macintosh HD. And under the first aid tab, we'll click on repair disk. Now it's gonna run a check to make sure the disk is okay and it's gonna fix any errors that it comes across. And that shouldn't take long. Great, and then once it's done, we can try restarting. We'll go ahead and close the disk utility manager and go ahead and click on the Apple logo and click restart. And then hopefully you should be able to log in like normal. Now, if that's still not working, what we can do is reinstall your OS X. Now that's not going to erase all of your files, but it should hopefully correct any errors that your system is having. And what we would do in order to do that is click reinstall OS X, click on continue. And in this case, I need to make sure I'm connected to the internet. So I'll go over here to the Wi-Fi button here and select my Wi-Fi network and enter my password and click join. Then I'll click try again. Good, now I'm up and going. And from here, just follow the prompts to reinstall your system. And hopefully from there, everything should be working like normal. Um, and that's usually kind of a last resort but it shouldn't wipe away any of your actual files. You may end up having to reinstall a few programs though. So there's a few ways you can try to repair some errors if you're having any trouble starting up your Mac OS.